Today is a pretty big day for the kits behind me in this tractor. I am going to go through and weigh them for their six week check. I'm also going to check them out and see if any of them still have potential to be breeders. No final determinations will be made today, but it will give me a good idea in what direction we are heading. So I'm excited about today. I'm excited to get these kits out and I'm excited for the two new litters to come next week, hopefully. All right, who's going first? So our first contender is a little girl. She is one that has the Californian markings on her. Let's see how much she weighs and see what her body conformation looks like. She feels pretty stout, so hopefully over two pounds. That is my goal at six weeks, is for them to be over two pounds. So if you haven't been around for long, I weigh my kits in both grams and pounds and ounces. So I will call off both numbers. 958 grams, two pounds, two ounces. So I actually have two females that match this coloring in this letter. And regardless of whichever one it is, it actually doubled weight in the past two weeks. That is awesome, ma'am. So when I assess my rabbits, I don't assess them for show standards. I assess them for my personal meat standards. What I have noticed makes a better meat rabbit has better meat on it compared to other rabbits. When I have my kits, I go ahead and kind of pose them like they would if they were on the show ring. You want their front paws lined up with their eyes. So if these were the tips of their paws, you want them lined up under their eyes. And then you want the tips of their back feet lined up with the forward most portion of their hip, uh, which I tend to think in my brain of is like their knee. So like if they were kneeling and their knees are sticking out, you want that lined up with their feet. So once I get them all set up, I want my front shoulders to be very, very wide, almost if not as wide as my hips. This gives me a greater amount of meat in my front shoulders. Having wide front shoulders is actually fairly hard to do in rabbits, but that will increase your meat yield. I also like to take in, take my fingers and find where my shoulder blades rest and spread them apart. I want at least two fingers to rest comfortably between the shoulder blades because that means my tenderloin area, this area right here, the rabbit that has like the best meat on it is wider. I want my shoulders almost, if not as wide as my hips. My shoulders are here and when I come back, it's not quite as wide, but it is, it is decently wide. So what I'm looking for in this position, I don't want her shoulders set real low. If they're set real low, then she doesn't have good shoulder depth right here. But I, I don't want them really low. Hers look great. They're pretty proportional to her back. I would like this back to come up and round more to give me a greater length of tenderloin. But she just does not have that. And that's okay. That's something we were working on breeding into our rabbits. And it will get better as we breed them. But she's good. Um, so when I check her tenderloin, her shoulder blades, and I'm going back. And there's her tenderloin portion just inside those hip bones and it's nice and wide for her age but so what i'm looking for on the back side is see how it's nice and round i don't want it to be like cut off right here and cut off right here some rabbits will do that if they're hollow in the loin is what they call it and that means that their their tenderloin area is too skinny so this one does not have that yes you are definitely on the list to be a breeder Oh. oh, hi, ma'am. This is the little girl I keep posting on Instagram that I have very, very high hopes for. She's been the biggest out of this litter the entire time, and she is beautifully put together. And I really hope she makes a great breeder for us. So let's see what you look like, huh? Eyes lined up with our feet, feet lined up with our back hips. She has a little bit more of an arch to her, which I really like. She's got nice wide hips. Her loin is wider than her sister's and she feels more full. So her hips don't stick out in any one portion. You can just barely make out that hip bone right there. That's something we'll watch as she grows. She's got plenty more filling out to do. Go back to her hips. The shoulders are just a little bit more narrow than the hip. Oh, from this view, your shoulders look massive, girl. You can see her shoulders really do look almost completely even with her hip bones. Now, when I feel them, they're fairly close together, her shoulder joints are. But from here, they look 
wide. So I'm interested to see how that plays out. Another test you can do is to put your hands under their chest and see how many fingers you can get under there. When they're adult, mature, I want to be able to get my whole hand under there flat. But she really is filling out perfect. All right, let's see what the weight is. Two pounds, 4.1 ounces. 1,024 grams. She has actually also doubled her weight between four and six weeks. And I know that for a fact with her because she is my only red eye white in this entire litter. And she's a girl. And I happen to love the red eye white. So I'm super excited about that. She's been my favorite from the get go from this litter of four. And she remains my favorite so far. We still have two more to check out. So this one weighs 982 grams. And that is two pounds, 2.6 ounces. So he also followed his sisters and doubled his weight from four to six weeks. Congratulations, sir. Would you like to stay as a breeder on the homestead? You may replace your father. He come from our Californian buck and Manali, a red eye white. So Fenora and Manali created this letter. He's got more of a rise to his back. It's like a big old ball. That is beautiful, sir. They're having an issue standing, but they're six weeks old and they're new to it. See how you can draw a line from his hip to his spine and it makes a flat line like this? That is what we're not looking for. So it could be the way he's sitting. It could be that he hasn't filled out enough, but we're going to keep watching for it. Hopefully this will round out if it doesn't, he may not stay as a breeder buck. Okay. All right, do not be the only one that does not double your weight. Come on, you don't want to be that rabbit. 946 grams, two pounds, 1.3 ounces. So this rabbit just barely missed doubling weight by half an ounce. Decent rise of the back. Decent width of the shoulders, a little bit more skinny. Yeah, a little bit more narrow in the shoulders, but that's decent. Oh yeah, you're definitely more round than your brother. Love it. So now these rabbits are actually going in the rabbit colony for now while they wean and grow up until we get the other grow outs butchered and then they would have went to the grow out tractor. The colony is still under construction. There's no nest boxes or anything in there. So it's not set up for breeders at the moment. I have to bring in more dirt and build it up. And I'm just waiting on a dirt delivery still. Can't find a good place to get one from. So that's the hold up there. But it is still perfect for growing out kits. Now we like to grow our kits out in tractors or the colony or somewhere where they can move. Because the more they move, the better their muscles build up. So if they're not moving around their cage and they're just laying there, their muscles aren't going to build up now I'm not saying cages are wrong I know people feel very strongly about that and we are adding cages to our homestead but put something in there that allows the rabbit to jump up jump down move around things like that encourage them to move movement will build your muscles up athletes have bigger muscles than couch potatoes do not be a couch potato be an athlete I need your muscles to get bigger and stronger we are leaving mama behind it is time to spread your wings and go to the colony Don't throw, be gentle. <clears throat> gentle. Whoa, what's one's going into the tunnel? I don't know what's one's going in the tunnel. One of them got in under that tunnel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 